Next, let's look at the multiplication of indices. This is 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 5. 3 to the power of 2 is actually this. 3 times 3. 3 to the power of 5 is this. There are 5 trees. So here we have 3 multiplied by itself 7 times. There are 7 trees all together. So it is 3 to the power of 7. And this is actually equal to the sum of the indices here. So 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 5 is the same as 3 to the power of 2 plus 5. So we have this formula. a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of sum of the indices m plus n. So now let's look at this question. Let's multiply the number first. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. For y to the power of 2 times y to the power of 4, we add up the indices 2 and 4. And we get negative 8y to the power of 6. Next one. 3 to the power of 5 times 3. So altogether we have 6 trees. And the answer is 3 to the power of 6. Let's look at the indices. 3 to the power of 5 times 3. Here the index of 3 is 1, representing 1 tree. But usually, we don't write down the index 1. But when we do the multiplication of indices, we need to remember the 1 up there. So it is 5 plus 1 to get 3 to the power of 6. So we need to remember that a is actually a to the power of 1. 